The Sea Breeze Jazz Festival turns 25 this year. The popular event brings in thousands of people every year, so expect a lot of traffic in Panama City Beach this weekend. Same age as us. Yeah, exactly. News Channel 7's Megan Kennedy joins us live from Aaron Besant Park, where folks are enjoying the first day of grooving to some smooth sounds. Megan? Nisa, Barry, you can't help but get in the groove while sitting out here and enjoying the perfect weather and the sweet sound of a smartphone. The past 25 years, Jazz Fest has grown and brought together many locals and visitors. Not only does it platform bond over good music, but it also helps out the economy and in more ways than just ticket sales. It really helps with airport people flying in, restaurants people have to eat, staying at hotels and Airbnbs and other accommodations. It's just many ways that people are bringing more money into our economy. Not only is Jazz Fest good for the local economy, but it's also good for small businesses. Just the energy, the people, the vibe, um, you know, it's just a great opportunity to get your business out there if you're serious about it. And, you know, you're just providing a great service. And I feel like I'm providing an, an, a unique experience in a boutique to the people that participate in the Jazz Festival here. A unique experience is the perfect phrase to describe the fun and festive atmosphere here. A sold out crowd will be enjoying the music, the company, and the vendors until Sunday. Nisa, Barry. All right, thank you, Megan. As she said, Panama City Beach, um, visit Panama City Beach officials tell us this, bring, this event brings in 32,000 people and around $40 million from this event. And it's sold out. That's amazing. That is great. That's really great. Good music.